Hi, everybody. My name is Scott Walls. I am the source to settle and OBN expert here at Panamere. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. You're watching a functional area overview video. In this video, I provide an overview of Oracle Cloud's procurement functional area. This functional area is part of the ERP pillar. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining Oracle Cloud's ERP pillar. I'll use the following slides to explain the procurement functional area. What is procurement? Procurement versus procurement cloud. The procurement workflow, the application, so there's our 10 individual slides, the Oracle Cloud procurement process, and Oracle Cloud procurement versus B2P. But best of all, I'm gonna to try to do this in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Slide one, what is procurement? The term procurement refers to the acquisition of goods and services for business purposes. In Oracle Cloud, procurement refers to the functional area whose apps are used to acquire goods and services. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining how Oracle organizes all of its applications. Slide two, what is procurement? In Oracle Cloud, the term procurement cloud refers to the same grouping of applications, but from a sales perspective. Slide three, the procurement workflow. This diagram gives us a quick listing of the steps and sequence of the procurement functional area. Note, this is a little bit different than the P2P or procure to pay tasks, but I'll get to that at the end of this presentation. And now we'll quickly walk through the different procurement applications. Slide 4.1, procurement applications, the suppliers application. This application allows supplier management or the supplier management group to create and manage bidders and suppliers. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the supplier's application. Slide 4.2, the purchase requisitions application. This application allows requesters to create and manage requisitions. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the purchase requisitions application. Slide 4.3, the purchase orders application. This application allows buyers to create and manage purchase orders. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the purchase orders application. Slide 4.4, the My Receipts application. This application allows requesters to receive and update purchase receipts and service work confirmations. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the My Receipts application. Slide 4.5, the Supplier Registration application. This application allows suppliers to register to create a profile and access and collaborate on their transactions via the supplier portal. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the supplier registration application. Slide 4.6, the supplier qualifications application. This application allows supplier management to create and manage what they call initiatives to assess and qualify each supplier. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the supplier qualifications application. Slide 4.7, the negotiations or sourcing application. This application allows buyers to create and manage sourcing events with or for suppliers. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the negotiations application. Slide 4.8, the purchase agreements application. This application allows buyer to create and manage purchase agreements. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the purchase agreements application. Slide 4.9, the catalogs application. This application allows buyers to create and manage catalogs. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the catalogs application. And slide 4.10, the supplier portal application. This application allows suppliers to create and manage their procurement transactions. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the supplier portal application. Next, slide five, Oracle Cloud's procurement process. Let's walk through the procurement process in two simple steps. Step one, purchasing services are performed. And if no catalog item or pre-negotiated content is found, step two, sourcing services are performed. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining Oracle Cloud's procurement process in more detail. And lastly, slide six, Oracle's procurement cloud offering versus industry's P2P procure to pay process. Here we see the buying organization's procurement process. 
and here we see the reciprocal supplier order to cash process. However, the big takeaway is that the P2P process includes settlement and payables activities and transactions. However, Oracle's procurement functional area and procurement cloud offering does not. Please note that within Oracle, payables transactions are part of the payables functional area. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the payables functional area. So this is the end of this presentation, but hopefully just the beginning of your Panamere journey. Did you know that there are thousands of free videos just like this one on Panamere.com and hundreds more on Panamere's YouTube channel? In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. Panamere wants to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day.